Uh, first of all, I want you to just tell me a little bit about what you've been doing in the off season and uh, any, any news or developments about anything going on and just what you've been up to lately. Um, well, let's see. The Crimson Tide won the, won the uh, national championship. The Saints won the Super Bowl the other day. And a good friend of mine, his engine won the 24 Hours of day- Daytona. And uh, got to meet Wayne Newton over the Christmas holidays. And so other than that, I mean, uh, no, we've been thrashing, I guess, all winter long on a, on a nice piece for Daytona and uh, look forward to running this Friday night. Talk to me about, uh, well, first of all, it sounds like life is good. How did you meet Wayne Newton? I, I'm curious about that. Uh, he was playing at the Tropicana in Vegas, and uh, I had the opportunity to uh, to uh, meet him. And uh, he's pretty nice. He's a really nice guy. He's a NASCAR fan, and and uh, his uh, favorite person in NASCAR is Bruton Smith. So sounds like he knows somebody with some power. <laughs> uh, well, why don't you talk to us about um, your your continued success? I looked it up, and for the last four years in a row. You finished in the top ten every year for the last four years. What what has been the key to uh, the, the, your success? Um, I, I just feel like it's you know um, consistency, I guess, and and uh, performance. Uh, it's it's all about your team. It's all about the truck that they put under you. I've all I've said it for a long, quite a long time mm-hmm. that uh, things are no runs, no drips, no errors. And if you can do that, you're going to finish races, and you're going to and that's how you accumulate points is being consistent. Um, I'm a little disappointed in the win column. We hadn't won a race in, I think, three and a half years, and uh, that's <laughs> that's a little too long. It, it begins to wear on a driver when that happens. Yeah, can you talk to me? Last year, like I said, you did finish in the top ten, but it was at number ten. It, w- it was your worst year out of the last four years statistically. What do you think you guys have done in the off season to try to improve that, or what? do you have a different mentality, or what do you think about all that? Well, we changed some uh, personnel in, uh, in the uh, – shop area and uh, we're doing things a little bit different our notes has changed and uh, you know I think performance will pick up and that's and that's how you get success in NASCARs you got to perform you got to be in front of the fans and running up front in TV range and uh, I mean that's how you get sponsors that's how you keep sponsors happy and then uh, that's how that's, that's what success is all about You've obviously had success at Daytona. We know that. Talk, talk to us about how excited you are to get back there and what, what is it about this track that, that you, you and the track go together well. Well, it's, it's the biggest win of my career. And it was 2003 and in and, and fashion that people had seen back in the 70s. And, and uh, any time I'm at an autograph session or, or talking amongst the fans in the, in the fan, fan zone, I mean, they, they mentioned that race. That race has stuck into... To, uh, many people's minds and including my own uh i get advice from uh, waddell wilson he's the engine builder crew chief he's won over nine daytona 500s and and uh he, he comes by the shop he's, he's in charge of our transmission work and he comes by the shop sometime and he and he, t- he tells you when the checkered flag falls at daytona your next race is when the green flag drops back at daytona it's the most important race of the year it can make or break your season and um you go there to win. You don't go to the run second. You don't go to the run tenth or say, I'm going to finish in the top 20 today and we're going to go on from there. You come to Daytona to win the race. How excited are you to be on the uh, the brink of, a, of another season? Did you get all the time off you wanted? Are you are you ready to rev it up again? Oh, I was ready to rev it up probably in December, uh, you know, and, and, and smell the fumes and, and the burning rubber. So uh, I'm, I'm beyond ready. I'm ready to go, and I look forward to Friday night and uh, putting on a great show in front of all the fans in the Gulf Coast area. We're live on speed, by the way, and uh, we'll be sure to give updates on Fox 10.